All right, it's Traders Tuesdays now with industry mentor Miles Primrose from Business Site. Uh, Miles, of course, monitoring tradies and builders from across Australia for over 17 years. A lot of tradies complaining about them having too much work to bring home, too much admin as well. Miles, not just tradies. I feel like people who may own TV stations have the same view. That might be right. And I tell you what, it's a, it's a bit warm in here today. Well, we need a tradie to install an aircon. You got a ladder? <laughs> It's getting too close to Christmas, they're too busy. <laughs> What's going to happen in here in January, I might add? Um, with the uh, after Christmas time, you mean? Like as in nobody available? As in the aircon not available. Well, let's, uh, let's see if the uh, person who's, who's running the business has made, made the right decision to make the right changes. Oh, they're on holidays, leave them alone. They're a very nice person though. Uh, let's talk about um, some of the businesses that might be struggling. What can they do? So. If you think of two scenarios, if you think of a uh, whether you're running your own business or whether you're an employee and you're running your own business, but you haven't got a uh, you haven't got an idea of actually where you're going. It's like you're on a on a bike and you're just spinning. Mm. And hamster wheel. Hamster wheel. Yes, yes. And uh, you, just and you run faster and faster in the belief that if you keep working harder, then all of a sudden dreams will come true and you'll find that pot of gold. E exactly. But um, it's it's like us going on a holiday, but we haven't worked out where we're going to go. Well, I'm still waiting for the ring, Miles. <laughs> we don't know each other that well just yet. <laughs> Give it a couple more months. <laughs> so, most most people are finding a lot of, a lot of the trades because they're so a lot of them are so reactive. It's like, and especially coming into Christmas time. And I spoke with a a builder yesterday and a guy that does civil works, and. I had spoken to them a couple of weeks before, and when I spoke to them yesterday, I said, oh, I can't catch up to you with until late January or maybe February. And I thought, well, you're looking at December, January, February. That's three months. And this happens with a lot of them at this time of the year. And uh, the way I see it is that if the other scenario is you've got a business, you've got a crystal clear vision of actually where you want to end up, and you start using your calendar properly. So, okay, I'm taking two and a half weeks off at Christmas time. This is the time I'm working you should be, or you need to allocate time to actually stop working and actually plan what's gonna happen for the for the next year. It is a really hard time of year for small business people and traders, isn't it? Because they shut down. Quite often, they don't have any money coming through the door. They're trying to wait for people to come through the door, um, but often those people are away. You don't know how long it will be. Uh, is it becoming longer, the period over Christmas, or is it getting shorter in terms of, of traders having time? I've seen over the last two or three years, there, there is a positive change. There are some people that are saying, I actually do need to be really disciplined about um, the time I'm having off. And I say to people, the other thing it's, that's okay to do is it's okay to actually say no to some customers. And I said, but if I say no, I'm not going to get any more work from them. Yeah. And I said, well, there's a point as you as a human and your well, team. Yeah. Have you ever tried to get a tradie? There aren't many of them. I'm sure they're going to, you know, you're going to be all right. I actually might be able to get one. <laughs> I know a few hundred. <laughs> do you know any that can install aircon? <laughs> I actually do. Do you? I've That's got two news. very good people that could right, do that. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, bring, in, bring us some business <laughs> um, or bring them some business. So you get through that difficult period, obviously, and it's also not just a time to, to think about the direction of your financials, but the direction of the whole company, right? Yep. The direction of where you're going, uh, a chance to have some downtime over that break to look into new technologies and things too, to, to see how your competition's going. How, yes. how do people make use of this time coming up over Christmas? Well, look, there's a, a small percentage that actually do make very good time and they're, they're productive. And there's a large percentage that are still either not making very good time or that they're thinking that they should, but they're just procrastinating and then they're not doing the right thing. Now, to me, the ones that have actually They've created a reasonably good um, big picture. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's the long term, and then they've got a reasonably good idea of what's going to happen over the next twelve months. So the first thing that's going to happen, the first positive thing is their stress levels is going to go down, and they're not going to rely on coffee so much. Yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this, is, this just keeps getting filled up. I tell you, <laughs> I wonder if it's actually got coffee in it. <laughs> We've got the booze bar over there, as you know. Carry on, sorry, I keep interrupting. No, that's okay, I'm, I'm used to it. Um, so I think, I think the thing is, the other thing, especially at Christmas time... Well, civil shepherd over here, <laughs> carry on, yes. We can talk about trades and civil works if you want. Carry on, carry on. It's okay, the, the other thing, it's, it's okay to say no. Mm -hmm. and um, Say no to who? 
the customers. Right. So that we can't do any work over this period of time where... The earliest we can do it is... Gone fishing. The 23rd of January, for yeah. example. Yeah. Um, and they, a lot of them, the majority get really stressed out. But if I say no, I'm not going to get any more work from them. I said, well, are your work... Do you have high work standards? Do, do you, you say no and then you do a cashy? Push up the price? Is that the idea? No, it's, no, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs> <laughs> you say no, and they, they, they get worried about actually not getting more inquiries from that person. And I'll say to them, have, have a think about this. Um, are your work standards high? Is what you deliver a high standard? Yes, it is. Um, do you present well? I believe I do. Okay. Are your prices reasonably fair? Yes, they are. Well, why wouldn't, they, why wouldn't people call you again? Correct. Um, Just because you're taking a break. I mean, everyone assumes that you're taking a break over that time of year, right? Absolutely. Mm. So, and... Also, I say to them that these people that actually are reactive, these customers that want you to get work done right now, are they your ideal customer? And I've said, well, actually, no, they're not. We actually want to work with people that we can actually plan jobs out so we can actually do them properly. And who are understanding. Absolutely. Mm. So, and that's the other thing that this is, um, this flows on to them going from a shift of actually working with customers that are reactive yeah. to actually having work set up in a timeline so that I can actually do things in the right order. And again, by doing all these things, um, have you ever been in a job that's stressful at any stage? Uh, I've never been in a job that isn't. <laughs> that wasn't the answer I was expecting, but anyway. <laughs> you put these things into place and the, the stress level should come down. Right. And then um, I find that when you do that and you actually start saying no to some people, I mean, I could actually try and say no to your sarcasm, but I don't think that's gonna work. Um, <laughs> You start saying no to people and actually... What about my flirtatious advances? That's a different segment. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, we'll leave it there. Tiffany's, a few months, as you said. Uh, looking forward to that. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.